Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to come back uh, into your homes by the way of this uh, uh, Facebook presentation. Uh, it's Wednesday, April the 14th, so I wanted to just take a few moments to share a scripture and then uh, talk a little bit about it and then have some prayer together. So there's a word that I want you to focus in on today as we find it in this scripture. Who is among you, verse number 10 of chapter 50, who is among you that feareth the Lord, that obeyeth the voice of his servant, that walketh in darkness and hath no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and stay upon his God. Now that last little phrase, I want you to focus in on it. Let him trust in the name of the Lord. And here's a way that you might think about the word stay and rely upon his God. I hope and trust that you're relying upon God. I know many of you are, obviously, and uh, just a refresher to our hearts. Uh, we need him every day. Uh, yesterday, I posted a little thing, smile, uh, because God is here. Uh, he's right next to us. Um, we can certainly do that every day. And so trusting is a big factor. Uh, we focused on several of these type of words as we've thought about this coronavirus and uh, the stay-at-home uh, situation that we're in. Uh, it takes a lot of trust. It takes a lot of factors, you know, that uh, we're trusting people who are uh, making those decisions every day and uh, giving us the news that we are listening to and uh, trying to focus on what they're saying. There's a lot of people with uh, disbelief and a lack of trust, but uh, we need to trust those who are uh, in authority and those who are in position. As a matter of fact, God teaches us that we should do that and uh, try to be, uh, again, mindful of the situation. And, and so trust is a big word. Um, I, a little uh, funny thing, uh, this morning, Audrey and I, we made our way to the bathroom, and uh, I got to the place where I just couldn't stand my uh, uh, hair getting as long as it was getting, and so uh, in the back, and I, I kind of kept joking that I was going to hold out and and try to get me a ponytail by the time church starts back up as we come together physically. But I just couldn't stand it any longer. So I asked her, could you go ahead and take some scissors and maybe cut some of my hair? And so I had to put my trust in the fact that she was going to do that and I was going to let her do that. And so we uh, started on that and I cut a little bit in the front. She cut a bunch in the back and I think it came out pretty good and uh, real happy that uh, we were able to get that done. But it was a trust factor to say, you know, here's some scissors and just get a hold of my hair and just whittle it or cut it in this particular way. And uh, so uh, a little bit of trust. Well, that's just kind of a little funny thing, but um, it came out good and uh, really happy that we were able to get it done. But here's the focus. Think about this. Trusting in the name of the Lord means trusting in his character. Uh, I've used a little bit of this thought before uh, throughout this time. Uh, trusting in his name, uh, when we think about his name and his character that is associated to the name, uh, such names as Almighty God, Righteous One, uh, Pure, uh, Merciful, Loving, uh, Wise, and Perfect. Uh, you could use the word Sustainer, uh, Creator, all these things give us the indication of who we are trusting in and what we're put our, putting our faith in or our confidence in. And, and there's one great thing about the, uh, the character of God, or may I say the name of God. It never changes. Uh, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Before the coronavirus, uh, God, he was faithful through many different things of our history and our time. God has brought people through and God has given abilities for people to uh, literally in life uh, find sustaining measures. That doesn't mean that everything is perfect in the midst of it as a human standpoint, but what it means is that God is doing his will and doing it by his direction and his focus, which again, for us to trust in that and believe in that uh, is so important. Our human uh, instinct is this. Our human characteristic, uh, we change all the time. Uh, we change with the flow of things. Um, we change day to day by things that happen around us, our circumstances, our mindset. Uh, we even change how we trust people. 
uh, people fail us. People uh, have, again, by times uh, brought uh, hurtfulness to us. And, and so our trust, our dependency upon them changes. God never changes. He's the same. Uh, we can trust in his character. So human characteristics or traits develop over time and they do change. But God, he never changes. And so we can have a dependency upon him. We can base even our emotional aspects upon him because even in the darkest moments, we can look up and we can realize that God is here, God is with us, and God is going to always be with us. And so for us to rely upon him means that we need to literally saturate ourselves with the knowledge of God, saturate ourselves with the understanding of his character from the Word of God and dwell upon those things that cause us to have a trustful or a trustworthiness about us and to identify with Him. And so it is a step of faith that we walk in. It's a step of faith that we believe in. Now, Audrey and I, we've talked about cutting this hair for a few days and uh, finally came to the terms, you know, it's not going to really matter because in four or five weeks I'm going to need another haircut and it's all going to work out just fine. And so taking that step of, of faith or trust and saying, yeah, let's get it done and let's go ahead and try it. And so we did it and all things worked out good. But what we did was take a step and that step was to initiate what we needed to get done. Hey, put your faith in God, in trusting him, in his character, and take those initial steps that means that uh, you're a dependency upon you and your dependency upon the surroundings that you're in, um, you know, is, is not uh, going to get you through, but your trust or dependency upon God is what's going to get you through. And so, who among you, uh, who, who is among you that feareth the Lord? Well, trust is that starting factor that changes everything about what you do uh, with the Lord. And so trust him today, uh, trust him tomorrow. Uh, hey, we're going to trust him that uh, come a, a couple of weeks from now, we're going to assemble and we're going to get started. I know there's going to be a lot of fear about uh, getting back together and trying to uh, work through uh, these days, but we need to trust God. And uh, God is faithful and God's going to help us as we go through these days. Well, I'm going to invite you to pray with me. And uh, there's a song that I uh, focused on a few moments ago. Um, my dad loved this song. Uh, I've grown to love it. And it just simply says, Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. And oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchased of God, born of the Spirit and washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Well, praise him today. Trust him today. Hey, he's here. We're going to work through this. We're going to get through this. God has been good to us and God is going to help us. But pray for those that are uh, less fortunate. Uh, there are those who have passed away and, and lost their lives. Uh, their families are grieving. Uh, we still have uh, people on the front lines working every day, uh, really striving to, to help us and uh, help those who are in need. Uh, there are uh, yet uh, some uh, words uh, of encouragement that we're seeing things get better. So continue uh, putting your faith there. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for another day. Thank you that we can come together in your presence. God, to think about your word, um, to think about your comfort, uh, your peace, God, that you are giving to us. Lord, you're helping us to walk through these days of uh, this coronavirus uh, situation. Lord, trusting you because you have uh, your hand in everything that goes on in this world. There's nothing that is happening uh, in and around us that, God, you're not uh, in or focused on, uh, God allowing to happen even. And so, God, we trust you today. Uh, Lord, we rely upon you. 
uh, more than just uh, saying we trust you, we rely upon you. And so, God, uh, our faith, uh, give us strength in it every day. Uh, make us stronger. Lord, that we know that your presence is here, you're real, and we just praise you for that. God, there uh, is people. there are people who are hurting, Lord, struggling um, in this day, uh, day-to-day battle. God, uh, some have lost their life um, in the uh, direction of this virus. Lord, we pray for their families. Um, God, they're hurting, grieving. Um, Lord, they can't even uh, even go and, and, and visit uh, the, uh, the remains of their loved one because of this virus. And, and God, there are just so many struggles that are going on. God, I pray for them. I pray that uh, their hearts would be drawn closer to you. Lord, I think about those who are working in our hospitals. Uh, God, the doctors, the nursing staff, Lord, the helpers, uh, the first responders. Oh God, we thank you at this time for those who are in the medical field and, and helping our communities, our cities, uh, Lord, our nation as a whole. Lord, fighting this uh, battle on the front lines. God be with them and help their families, the struggles that they're facing, the challenges that are there. They're great uh, challenges, and I just pray for them. God, for the church as well. Oh, how we miss the church. Uh, God, we miss the fellowship, um, yet we've made phone calls, and, and we miss seeing people face to face. We miss the, uh, the camaraderie that we uh, get in the midst of it. So, Lord, uh, do bless us and uh, help the church to stay strong. God, uh, may we look forward to the time that we can uh, just reunite and, and come back together and uh, enjoy the presence of our Savior, uh, worshiping our hearts together in, in this church, this church building. And so, Lord, be with us through this day. Thank you for your presence. God, I want to think about our missionaries on the field. Lord, we have uh, some that are struggling there and uh, battling with this uh, virus all across the world. Uh, they're trying to figure out how to minister and how to work as well <clears throat> in the presence of those things. And so, Lord, may you help them uh, as they're fighting the battles as we're uh, likewise fighting. And so, God, we love you because you first loved us. We put our faith and our trust in your word. We put our faith and trust in you. Our reliance is upon you. And so, God, we know that you're going to work all things according to your will. And so we just entrust them to you today. So, Lord, we praise you and honor you and glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, may God bless your day. Thank you for uh, uh, taking time to, to listen and uh, focus in on God's word. Uh, we want you to continue to pray for one another. Thanks for making the phone calls that you've made and uh, sharing your heart with others as well. And uh, just pray that God keep us all safe. And we do look forward to coming back together. Hey, don't forget, if you uh, want to uh, share in giving to the church, you can do it online through our online giving now at uh, my e-offering. And uh, just go to our webpage, tbclighthouse.org. You can find the uh, donation button there and uh, do it through that uh, avenue if you'd like. Or if you'd like to mail it or send it uh, through uh, the church or stop by. Uh, we're here during the day through the office, but uh, I thank you so much, and I don't want anybody doing anything that they can't do. Uh, I know some of you are out of work and, and that, and so just do what God lays upon your heart. I thank you for the 30 pieces of silver, those who have given to that. And if you'd like to participate, we'll still uh, look forward to that. We'd love to still try to take care of our needs here with the roof, and, and so we're, we're just considering what God's going to have us to do. But thank you for those who have already considered that and have taken time to give. So Lord bless you, and uh, we'll look to see you uh, very soon or in a, another presentation. All right, have a great day.